Hello, and good to see you again. Yeah. Sorry it's been so long. We we have had the year of the first. Yes, we, we've we gotten through a winter. It's still cold here in eastern Oklahoma. <laughs> we it's, it's already the first day of spring a couple days ago, and, and it's... We're still bundled up when we go outside, but yeah, that's all right. We, we, we're making it through. And yeah, like Brian said, it's, it's the year of first for us. We are nine and a half months in and made it through the winter. I, and it was logistics. We learned so much about um, the, with the animals and keeping them warm and keeping them safe mm -hmm. and dry. Um, learned what to do in the garden in the winter time and what not to do in the garden in the winter time. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, we, we did, we did some, some cool things and, 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 you know, sometimes you feel triumphs and sorrows, but, uh, I don't, what, what were some of your takeaways? So I guess, what, one of the things, and, and I want to just kind of Keep on going with that that train of thought uh -huh. that you you said. We we've had the year of the first. So we we went through our first summer, mm -hmm. and and then we went through our first fall. Then we went through our first winter, and they've all seemed extended. Yes. And yes. but I, I can just tell you, you know, that we've had a plan, and we have we had things that that altered the plan and altered the timing. But our mm -hmm. we have our whiteboards and we have our our plans, and we're. Like Shannon said, we, we're working on our logistics and systems. Yeah. That's been a beautiful thing. But in that, I think a couple of, of my takeaways yeah. is is one we we faced our fear. We 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 yeah. have we've had to overcome fear. We've had to overcome the fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was just asked today, and we've and again we've been here for nine and a half months. Mm -hmm. I was asked again today. So you you guys have done this before, right? No, you guys had you. You guys have have raised animals before. No, you you guys really you, you haven't had any of this. No, we haven't. We you know you saw the video with the <laughs> the red toolbox and the rake of the shovel. Literally, that's what we came in. Yeah, yeah. However, the 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 boldness and the courage and and the tenacity that we've shown to to overcome those fears or to face them and to overcome the fear of the unknown, that you just go out and do it. Yeah. Now, there, there are times that it gets a little bit uh, unnerving yeah. that, that we're, we want to accomplish or tackle something or, or go into a, um, an area that needs so a little bit more TLC and some deep cleaning and we're like, yeah, there, there's something living in here. We have no oh, clue. There, there's always some fear there. And, yeah, for sure. And, you know, when you're you're picking up something, moving it, what what's behind there? What's behind door number one? Yes. So a and lot just of times, so you know, I'm not as bold as Brian. And, and a lot of times, there's nothing behind door number one, which is praise God. And you're like, oh, okay, this is great. But door number two, there is definitely something that has has um, ran away or a whatever. dozen rats. Yeah. And so. <laughs> To, just to face that, and I, I think yeah. the second big takeaway for me mm -hmm. is that that we have been committed to our commitment. Yeah. When when we we decided to move, we committed to move. We have the vision. We we knew what the Lord put into our heart. We we've stayed committed to it, and I think that's a big thing: mm -hmm. is staying committed to what your commitment is, and and being able to fight through the things that. You know, you, 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 whatever feelings you may have, what, whether it's uh, isolation or loneliness or your new community or new friends or a little bit of the unknown. It's I, all valid. And it's, it's, and I think we felt that. Yeah. Off and, on. and, yeah. And, and you just, you press through and, and, mm -hmm. and you, you begin to muster up courage and boldness and, and, and strength that you just persevere. And, and that, mm -hmm. that's been great. Those, those two things, I, I really believe, are are our my, mine. Mm -hmm. uh, my biggest takeaways is, is conquering the fear, staying committed to the vision and the, and the path that the Lord has mm -hmm. has for us, and and then uh, going going with the confirmation. I'm going to yeah. switch that to you. Yeah, it, it's so true because what we've talked about is is. Man, and, and it's hard here sometimes, not gonna lie. It's it it's 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 challenging, but when our guests come out here, it's such a beautiful 
confirmation, like Brian said, to, to what we're doing, what we uh, are currently doing, what we want to do in the future and keep growing and building and, and making it better and better. And, and so it's whether it's our, our RV guests through Harvest House or our guests from different parts of the country or, or from the Metroplex, just different places. Uh, you know, there's a couple of guests that really came to mind and that just uh, really solidified for us why are we doing this and and what and what a blessing it is and and one was a, a young woman not too far from here actually and her, uh, her her mother called and said man she's had a really hard day it, her boss was ugly to her customers were mean to her can she come and and just see your goats can she feed some cookies to your goats and and we said yeah come on and and it was it was great to see this this young woman is such a cool person and and to just see her just meld and the stress went away mm -hmm. and 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 the the goats were so responsive to her and it that was just really fun to watch and, and a great afternoon and and the other one Brian that that really stands out in my mind was one of our RV guests and the lovely woman and it, she was here with her husband, and when they arrived the night before, she she was determined to make friends with Hank, our big fluffy guard dog. And and Hank could be a little skittish with a lot of people, and and he wanted nothing to do with her. She kept trying and trying to be friends, and 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 so fast forward to the next morning, as she was out in the barnyard with me, and and we were just chit chatting, and and standing over by the the chickens, and and all of a sudden Hank just came up right under her hand. And just spur the moment, and and she just she just started weeping. Mm -hmm. She 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 absolutely melted, and and said, "Oh my goodness, I needed this so much." And and it was just her connection to this <coughs> this animal that that was just so important to her. And and so um, that that was that just was awesome. And and you know other other people when they. They say, you know, we, we drive onto your property and we just feel peace. We feel mm -hmm. peace. And how cool is that? And yeah. we, we pray over that. We pray over our land so much. And we, we just ask the Lord to, to just bring peace to our place and to the people who, who visit us. So yeah. so it's good. Yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been, I feel better already. Yes. It wasn't that bad of a winter after all. <laughs> no, it was a little cold. You know, yeah. you, you bundle up and it's great. <laughs> exactly. So just, just to leave you with this, one, it, it conquer your fear. Just, mm -hmm. just, just get the boldness and the courage and, and, and face it, overcome it. You can do it. It's awesome. Because we, mm -hmm. we're doing it. And, yeah. and, and we haven't stopped. We're, we're, we still, we're still going to have to muster up some boldness and courage and, and go out and do things. And it's just going to be yeah. great. Snake season is upon us. Yeah. Be committed to what your commitment is. Yes. And, and when you follow the Lord and you follow his vision for you, then, then you can, you can rest assured that he is going to bring it to pass. And, and the third thing that keeps us going as well is the confirmation. It's confirmation from you. It's confirmation from our guests that say, hey, listen, you know what? This is an amazing story. Hey, listen, this inspired me. This encouraged me. This touched my life. This touched my child. Hey, we um, we, we see story and, and we see um, uh, testimony after testimony after testimony on the guests that come here to yeah. to our ranch. And, and it's only because of the Lord and what he brought us to. Mm -hmm. So, again... We're going to be with you. We want to be with you uh, more often. We're going to put out more of these videos. We are. Uh, we want to be more consistent. Another C for us yes. today. So <laughs> we, we love you. We, we really look forward to, to spending some time with you here at the ranch and, yeah. and just the fellowship and, and seeing what the Lord uh, has told you and, and given you for a vision and sharing that because iron sharpens iron just as one man to another so thank you again uh yes. again we love you guys and and we will see you very soon yes. we'll talk to you later bye-bye yes.